Hello, Leo. This is your love message for November. We have connect with God, connect with Gaia, and we have healing waters. So I feel like you're connecting to spirit at the moment. I feel like you are focusing on connecting. At the bottom of the deck, you also have affirmations for acceptance. So that may be something that's important for you at the moment. I feel like maybe you have the need to feel accepted. Or maybe you are accepting something into your life. Very interesting so far, Leo. I have gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Okay, so Leo, you may be very grat you may be very grateful at this moment. You may be really looking towards the future and ex accepting the things that are happening and you have loneliness i know that i am never alone okay so i'm really getting a feeling that you're diving deep you have pride at the bottom i love myself and i see myself in everyone okay very interesting Get a few more oracle cards. And Leo, uh, make sure to check out your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity um, at the time of the eclipse, which is probably when I'm uploading these videos. Your rising sign may resonate with you more. So if you know your signs, make sure to check out your other placements. Okay, you have uncharted sea so yeah i think you are you're going into a time when it's brand new to you you are maybe you're by yourself now and you haven't been by yourself for a very long time so you feel like this is uncharted energy this is something that's totally brand new for you yeah and a willing release so yeah, you've actually released something from your life and you're, you're in this divine matrix. You have the divine matrix at the bottom. Okay, Leo. Tell me more about the situation with Leo. I'm really feeling like you're going through many changes, Leo. I feel like you are really taking on the strength of the lion. I feel like you are you're finding confidence when you may not have had confidence in a very long time. Very interesting, very interesting, Leo. What's going on with you? Okay, that just wanted to jump out. That's one to jump out. Okay. See, we have the Two of Wands. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the King of Wands. For some 
choice and these cards are really hard to deal with at the moment. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Three of Pentacles. And we have the Ace of Swords. Okay, so definitely at the bottom of the deck you have the Empress. So if this isn't your energy, the Empress, this is someone that you're dealing with. Or this is someone who's going to come into your life very shortly. If this is your energy as the Empress, this is beautiful energy. If this is someone who's coming into your life, this is beautiful as well. Because this is, a, this is something that's very fruitful, very prosperous, very, very fulfilling. This also may be you as the Empress energy. This could also be you finding out that you're pregnant or finding out that your person is pregnant. Wow. Okay. Okay, Leah. Okay, uh, we have the Two of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so I see that you're waiting for your results. You are patiently waiting. I feel like you're waiting for your pentacles. This may be money that you have coming to you that you've been wait, waiting for patiently. Uh, this may be also the life that you've dreamed about. Does that make sense? This could also be the prosperous life that you've been waiting on, um, but you've been patiently waiting on for this person. Maybe you're waiting on the exact right person. You're waiting on someone of your dreams. Um, you have the Knight of Pentacles, and you also have the Knight of Cups. So two knights. Okay. I feel like this Knight of Cups, of course this Knight of Cups is, it could be your Prince coming into view. And the Knight of Pentacles, This could be another person, or this could be the same person. Um, but I feel like this night, this night is very charming. And this night here works very hard. He works very hard. So it could be that you have two choices to make. Do you have two people coming in? This could also be action coming towards you. The, the Knight of Cups, he comes in not really fast, but at, at a swift pace. And the Knight of Pentacles, he's kind of slowed down. He's kind of stagnant. He's kind of at a standstill. If, it, if this is two different people coming towards you, this Knight of Cups is moving in at a pace that is faster than, than the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles, he's like at a standstill. And I'm saying he because of the card. Um, I'm not saying he because I'm putting gender towards the card. But I'm feeling like this Knight of Cups or this Knight of Pentacles could lead to your King of Wands. So you have the Ace of Wands and the King of Wands. So this is definitely a fiery new beginning. Or if this is not a new beginning, this is something that's being reignited 
that is going to bring a lot of passion, a lot of fiery um, new beginnings to the situation. But with the, the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords, there's definitely a new beginning here. This is something that you are moving towards. And the Two of Wands, I feel like you do have two choices. I feel like you have two choices. You're at a crossroads. You have two choices. This may be, be between these two nights. These three, this three of pentacles and the ace of swords. I feel like there's a team behind you to provide you with support. Uh, to provide you with a new perspective on any ideas. Someone who has your back. Um, maybe you have a team of friends who are giving you advice. And I believe that this advice is kind of opening your mind to new perspectives. I hope that resonates with you. I hope that kind of gives you what you need there. Um, but yeah, I see several people coming. In the month of November, I see a couple people pursuing you. Okay, we have a lot of cards that flew out here. Okay, let's see. With the Two of Wands, we have the Ace of Cups. Definitely a new beginning now that we have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Five of Pentacles. So I'm feeling like Whatever it is that's coming, your Ten of Pentacles, you feel like you don't deserve it. You feel like you haven't worked for it, or you feel you're still in that lack mentality. And I, I, I feel like in order to have your Ten of Pentacles, you have to move away from that lack. You have to stop believing that you aren't worthy of whatever's coming. You are definitely worthy. You are definitely worthy of everything that you desire. Okay. With the Knight of Cups, you have the Ace of Swords. So I feel like you're kind of holding yourself back from if this is a person, if this is a person, this Knight of Cups. I feel like... I feel like you're holding yourself back from this person. I feel like you feel like this person doesn't have your same qualities. Even though they're charming, even though they're um, maybe your prince charming. And I, I feel like you're holding yourself back from that situation. But with the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Wands. So I feel like you're creating boundaries with this person as well. But I feel like it's not a deal breaker. So I'm, I'm kind of feeling like you're kind of going with the Knight of Pentacles because they're at your, you're, they're at your slow and steady pace. Does that make sense? With this King of Wands, you have the Three of Cups. Now, I hate to say it, but this King of Wands could be coming in with a secret he may have someone else he may not be totally available I'm feeling like he may not be totally available I'm feeling like he maybe has someone that he's not mentioning Could be that you're meeting him at a gathering, but I'm really feeling like he's not totally available. Now with the Ace of Wands, you have the lovers. So something is coming in for you, 
But I feel like with the Ace of Wands, it's a fiery new beginning. It's very passionate. It's very loving. This is like the cream on top of the sundae. Um, But for some reason, I'm feeling like that's not the King of Wands. I feel like this is someone else. Wow, very interesting. But with the Three of Pentacles, you have the Magician. So I believe that you have everything this person desires. You have all the abilities. You have all the strengths. You have... You have everything this person has asked for in a person. Yeah, and with the Ace of Swords, you have the world. So this is definitely a new beginning. This is full life cycle. This is... This is your goals completed. This is what you have been waiting for. After meeting this person or reuniting with this person, this new beginning, you are going into a new beginning, a new life cycle. This person is your goals being uh, recognized. Yeah, you have the Knight of Cups again. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So this person that you're meeting is going to bring you a lot of joy. Um, they're going to bring a lot of contentment to your life. This may be someone who is wealthy. This may be someone who brings you a lot of fulfillment. This is a very interesting reading, Leo. Um, if this reading resonates with you, please comment in the comment section. I would love to know more about the situation. To end this reading, we have New Moon and Scorpio. Yeah, we're going into the New Moon. A work through your fears. And new moon in Taurus, prosperity lies ahead. Wow. So this new relationship, this new love interest could hold the key to everything. You also have your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus. Okay, And it's so interesting that we're going into the lunar eclipse. And these are both lunar eclipses. Wow. Interesting, interesting, interesting. At the bottom of the deck, you have full moon in Virgo. You are good enough. Yes, Leo. You are definitely good enough. You have all the values. You have all the strength. You have everything that anyone desires. <laughs> Look who just climbed up my leg. Say hi. Say hi, pretty girl. Okay. But yeah, Leo, if this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any readings. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. I think your sun, moon, and rising, especially your rising sign at this time, will give you more clarity in the situation. Um, but I do feel like you have a beautiful new beginning coming towards you. Thank you for watching, Leo. And many blessings. Love and light.